Hey everybody, it's the Great Pick Wins CX7 and welcome back to Let's Play Etrian Odyssey. Last time we made further progress into the Exocell Labyrinth, only to be told by a one and a hexer that uh, we can't go any further because the lower fl floors are infested with walls and uh, we must stop exploring. But we were told if we want more information we should go to Wata Hall. Eh, well, we did. We accepted the mission to go down to the fifth floor to try and defeat the creature known as Fenriel. So in this episode we're pretty much gonna go back into the labyrinth to uh, to tell the one and hexer that we've accepted the mission and that we would like to proceed. Before we do, uh, we can do at least a few more things. Starting with this. This is for this is for my girl training at Ke at Kef's Seth's to become a medic, so I'd say it's for a good cause. She was searching for her herbs and a woodfly attack forced her to come back empty handed. Your job is to take out seven woodflies, so it's safe for students to gather herbs again. A few woodflies should be no problem for you, right? Good luck down there. Decided to take the request if you could have another own word. Go to Circus Good to ask her which materials she needs. So as we please is not a hand axe, you know. Good luck to you. What's this now? Request about your shortfall? Ah, so you guys are helping me again? Let's see here. The materials I need are two horns and f five gum hides. It's a good weapon for the survivalists. Gotta materials quick for me, okay? Don't think we've seen any gum hides. We know absolutely well we can get horns, so. It it's not that terrible of an item to find, but uh, gum hides are a whole different question. Now, there's gonna be a little change in party members real quick because, uh, you know, just. just because I can. I recruited a. a member in the last episode but didn't show it because, uh, I decided that the name for that character was going to be used for something else entirely, so, uh. let us properly introduce the next guild member to join out the Izor Guild. I want to give a warm welcome to Yesenia, who is going to be our alchemist. And, uh, we're likely to be swapped around every now and then with Adamina. But it was a dumb idea to put, actually put her in the front position, so, uh, she'll be serving the back spot with Ume Luan. Anyways, Woodfly seem pretty common around here, so, uh, let's just go ahead and do a stat side quest first. That's one down, and. We also got the conditional item for from the woodflies, the insect eye, which is to kill them as basically an elemental attack. It's just that simple. Ah, what a perfect time for you to show up. Because yeah, <laughs> if an enemy is weak to an element, uh, they take more damage. Kind of like Pokemon. But uh, we're not here to kill those. We're here to kill woodflies. So uh. I'll be back once the, once the task is complete. Okay, uh... I thought these were... I thought these skills were mostly equipped to the arms, but I guess they're head skills? Really weird for an alchemist to cast these spells from from vocalizing them when the main gimmick is to use the gauntlets on their hands to actually cast these spells. It's yeah, that's weird. That's that's just really weird. <laughs> this is just something I just found out when just trying to Grind it in here up on experience and found free wood flies. That's that's just real freaking weird. I don't know why. You have to do the wood fly specified by the request from the bot. So we'll pull back when you have time. <laughs> no, no, you guys, I got this. I totally got this. Oh god. Good to get in here anyway. At that exact time because uh, she was about to die. I just want at least like one or two enemies to level up or uh, to get some experience off of, not two. Or three for that matter. Uh, 
<laughs> a whole stick of things all because one went away. <laughs> Now, having 12 experience would have been nice because it, it would have been shorter. I guess this works. Alright, it's gonna be like 15 off, but you know, that's that, that's new enough to the level art that I want. There we go, A. Been on the wood flies? Good. Now the apothecary student can go in with no worries. <laughs> you know, lots of folks complain about all about, about all the monsters in the lab, you know. At the time, they can only do the job thanks to top notch adventurers like you. I'm expecting a lot from you as you get to know the lab is a little better. Here, learn something extra for me for your hard work. <laughs> Another medica. Level up. Let's go ahead and put a point into, into tri trickery. I feel like this skill will be helpful in the future. Uh, let's go ahead and put a point into provoke. Let's go ahead and put a point into TP up for Ume. And uh, let's put... Let's just put another point of TP up for Yusinia. Because uh, she's going to be using lots of spells a lot in, in the foreseeable future. And TP up as well. Now, hopefully on the floor we can find fenders because uh, those are the ones we can get for horn drops. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is not it. And immediately bringing Hisako almost to the brink of death again. How hard is it to find freaking fenders? I swear to God. I feel like these enemies are just taunting me with how I'm not getting any single fenders in the past few minutes. I guess. Oh, and now I complain. Once again, complain and the enemy will appear. The guy just like, I hate it here. And it didn't even drop the anime I required, okay. I guess while we're here in the inventory, uh, still okay, hey, they remove bindings. Could be plenty helpful in the future. <laughs> uh, uh, unless you're not wanting a medic and want to be able to put skills into unbind, which really you don't need like level five in order to remove all three binds. So, uh, you know, just saying. Hey, we're probably dropping anything that time, rude. Alright, well, I just want to go out up to the top half so that the path does connect there. So they're not going to take the other path because uh, I don't think we're capable of... Um, okay, that presents a problem. And I don't have an Oriana thread. So I've actually bought some before coming here, crap. No! Oh my god. Well, it took three episodes, but here's the game over screen. <laughs> Upon dying, you, you can save your map and explosion data, so dings. Don't have to be redrawn. <laughs> Unless you hit no, then you have to redo that all over again, but fuck! <laughs> Always a reminder, buy free at Oriani Threads. And help with the secret, let's just add in some more times. These are basically the repels of the Adrian Odyssey games, so if you don't want to face enemies like immediately, or you feel like you're going to be encountering an enemy too soon, uh, great chance to use these. I believe these last for about... 60 turns. These turns being turns taken onto the map, not <laughs> not in battle. Though I think it might, I think those might ward, ward off in battle as well. I don't know. But uh, yeah, second floor. Now, now we're pretty. We're back to level six. So uh, <laughs> hope you don't mind if I just re go back and acquire all the levels I just lost. <laughs> Cause uh, I need them. Don't didn't drop a whole like request. This is this is gonna be a bit. Hi, right, now you think he's gonna be even less behind on experience. So there goes. Well, there goes any chance of having more closer experience than ever. But 
I suppose now's a good time to show I'll do a five. It's just that easy. Granted, it's spam because it, it's also going to back up with the amount of money we'll be spending at any time added in, but it's, it is what it is. I suppose I should also discuss this while we're going forward through this floor again. Uh, anytime you reach a new floor, an enemy will be introduced and will always be encountered in the other floors going ahead, so you don't have to stick around one floor just to specifically try to find an enemy. You can always find the enemy in later floors, but other than that, there's really like no need for me to stick around here because uh, we're like a few monsters away from filling, getting 10 monsters registered for the codex, so uh, I figured we might as well head, head over down here and while we're at it, progress. And I'll also kill this Mandrake. And uh, kill is fire. Because that drops the Mandrake's conditional, the charcoal. So, so two for, for the price of one. And yeah, this thing can lower our defenses, so uh, that's not going to be real pretty if that, if that keeps up. Because uh, more damage done to us, that's bad. And we got to find, so uh, we basically got most of the items. And I think we basically got all of them, because I believe the hardwood is also an item that is dropped from it, so uh, yeah, that's that. Let's just drop ourselves and uh, draw this FOE out. Oh, am I going to have enough time to kill all these before the monster turns around? Uh, well, we're going to try. Ow. Drop a Minica. There we go. And all I got was soft types, not even the ones I need, but that's two monsters for the Codex to Western. Let's swipe down here. A small crack is visible in the walls of trees before you, but it seems you cannot pass through from this side. So now this test an indicator telling you, hey, there might be some, there might be a shortcut here, so uh keep that in mind. But uh do it. If one of you stand the two female adventurers unchanged from the previous position. I say you've been to the water and accepted that mission. Then we're long, no, no longer needed here. I bid you, bid you good luck. The, the women stand aside as the severe warning offers a final word of advice. The wolves are resilient enemies. We'll help you as best we can, but be careful. Considering this, you gazed into the forest and one of you shouldn't talk up in town. <laughs> I kind of did away, so... Ah, pfft. Of course I kind of the one. Yeah, we basically got every item for the Mandrake, but uh, not from this roller. We we'll speak to everything else. Still nothing. Sheesh. Okay. <laughs> Iron Drops are gonna be right over. Irksome today. I see how it is. Alright, so in front of us is three, and I count three, Adores. And more rabbits and wolves to kill, I guess. But I guess now is a good time to show off trickery. Because, you know, it affects all enemies. Accuracy has decreased. And that should hopefully make it easier for us to kill these enemies and not get hit as much from them in return. It's still not giving me that item. It's I would think we would have dropped one by now. Because <laughs> it's actually one we needed for a quest. 
and it's gonna up that. Let's go ahead and up see how the mask away. It will be good to have this for now. It's not gonna be of any importance yet, but this is nice to have for now. Up to TP for our medic. Uh, I'm feeling bored. Let's go up here. Eh, this room seems totally fine. Nothing could go absolutely wrong here whatsoever. Just map these corners and uh, let's go for it. Oh, turn it around. <laughs> oh my god, not again. <laughs> At least it was preempted this time, but still, that could have been real bad. <laughs> these guys are in here, but level. Let's just use a war time. Because uh, for now, I want to make some progress on this one. Let's see. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. How much zombies? Oh god! Uh, hi, buddy! Uh, I'm just gonna back away now. <laughs> Sorry, don't defeat. Moving away. Oh, well, buddy, please. This is ridiculous. Okay, that happened. Am I finally gonna get the thing from here now? Why would I'm in front of an FOE possibly and hope to possibly die from it? Nope, not even a single drop. Sheesh. Again, yeah, OMG just does not like me today. Oh god. Really? Really now? Really? Okay. I need to go back in here and get some items anyway, so this is just a fine opportunity. <laughs> what an excuse. Fucking hell. Eh, you'll be fine. You don't need the agility. You won't be losing anything from losing the helping, so that just works. In fact, I think everybody could benefit from the topic A Wedge Charm on hand. At least for the time being. Uh, let's just go ahead and buy some more readers. I buy at least a couple more medicas. Before we go any further, let's just go ahead and register the stuff that we have. Because, you know, we're now one enemy away from actually completing a quest with that monster codex. We are just one short. Who knows, maybe an enemy down the line in this labyrinth could help out. It is a pain that I'm gonna have to go back all the way down again, but uh, you know, the experience could help. Oh, and now drops a horn. Okay. Ah, convenient timing, I guess. It's just convenient. If I were to get another one, that'd be good for one half of the materials I need. Come on! And I gotta go back to town to heal to a 5 Hisako, so that's the screen timing. Alright, well that's one item brought over. Not much of a good thing for now, but uh, hopefully everything will be fine. It's just freaking... <laughs> Now if you understand why I'm cutting like a huge... Cutting huge parts and these episodes seem like they go faster than usual, uh... Sometimes most of it is just literally backtracking to a spot where I fell before one. Or because then we decided, hey, I'm gonna choose this perfect, uh, perfect opportunity to go ahead and kill the one party member that is specifically low on health. These warlords really don't like dropping the second item drops, don't they? Just, this is something necessary for this long quest, I swear to god. <laughs> it shouldn't be hard for them to just drop the items I need, but no, it's just the game's deciding to prove me all kinds of wrong today. Oh my freaking god! Just drop the one item I need, it's really not a difficult game. <laughs> Granted, I'm gonna have to get like five wolves that material, but you know. <laughs> I thought it would be helpful. Heal thyself, girl. Heal thyself, girl. Oh, 
There we go, finally one of the to drop. We can get the gum hides from Molas. There's technically another enemy that also drops this, but uh, this is the first instance of fighting these, so uh, I wanted to point this out in particular. Well, it is a predicament I put myself into. I wonder if the time of battle will help. Okay, it does, thankfully. Okay. We're good. Um. Uh, let's just. Let's just put more d damage into the bow. Let's upgrade this. More t TP up, um, TP up, put one into file. You know, I, I, I'd say for now this is going to be something that'll help save on Medicus a little bit. That's just going to be something that's going to be real help helpful to have. We go down here, this is the way to the door. But, uh, you know what, we gotta explore. And fight the same four enemies we just defeated not too long ago. <laughs> I know that some point around here might be real good to get to real freaking soon. Pretty soon is because uh, I really don't want to have to go back to town to go all the way back here again. Uh, who is the one? Maybe we just one? Nope. I'm passing through the door. You reach a clearing. Without warning, an ear piercing scream sounds out, followed by the growl of a fierce beast. Mere yards away, a giant wolf is preparing to spring onto an unlucky soldier. The wounded soldier seems to be petrified as horn. You take a step forward, decide to draw your weapon and rescue the soldier. Well, up is, is it in you? I mean, obviously, we don't know the soldier, but um, we want to help out. As you get yourself a battle, the faint ringing of a bell reaches your ears. Searching for its source, you find the Hexer Tlachka standing quietly there. Her lips scarcely parting, the girl with the ringing bell murmurs a mysterious chant. All at once, the water had stood ready to power stops moving, its muscles tensed. At a at the final word from the guild, blood spews from the wolf's jaws and collapses. They don't hear or see well, the flame herald gold whispers, but they can't smell blood. Fixing a pale eyed ga gaze upon you, the girl approaches. You should be careful, it's dangerous to fight wolves with open wounds like, a like his. Head up stretch, Tlatico sprinkles some droplets of shining water on you. And you are fully healed! I'll attend to the soldier, you should go on, the stairs to the fourth floor, not fall. As he speaks, Flaskaga points you to the back of the room. Now stay here until you defeat Fenrir. Come back if your wounds become too severe. Flaskaga turns away, her attention is focused on treating the collapsed soldier's wounds. The way is clear to continue for us. And uh, yeah, now we have a free temporary healing spot. So uh... This would actually be a real decent grind point for us and uh... Hopefully soon because this floor can be real dreadful. Right now, I want to get to that shortcut we just walked, so we can get to this point much faster without having to go through that Kyoto hub effort we, we've been trying to fight for a bit. There we go, another gum hide. That's two so far. Yeah, two. Sheesh. <laughs> the drop waves really don't agree with me today. That's just the dead end. But up here. Here. Oh, nice! <laughs> as you venture forth among the trees, the, the adventurer called Ren appears once more. Smiling as if to congratulate you on your steady progress, the warrior woman greets you. It seems there are no wolves on the floor yet, she remarks. I'll give you some advice before you go back on your way through the forest. The trees are not always as impassable as they look. Finding the hidden paths will allow you to move about more efficiently. Keep an eye out. There's a hidden path around here, in fact. See ends. See if you can spot it. Without another word, Ren walks away. He claims about shutting out a leaf for the narrow hidden path he spoke of, which is mine of him. As we walk through the forest, the wall of trees walks apart, but however, this seems to be a minor crack that could be passable if you kneel. And now we have our shortcut. Which, uh, 
very needed right now because uh, <laughs> I don't I don't intend to tread the same path as that Kyoto anytime soon. Oh my God, this is the same pair of enemies. <laughs> like if if the, just the water itself would drop to come here high a lot faster, I'd be done with the side quest. But no, I'd also need a fet. Offender's horn, which well, I might need to go back and grab that. It's just a lot of things I need to kill. And it's just, this is ridiculous. Oh look, the third one. Only two more to go. Oh my god, <laughs> what is there with this? I'm not saying I'm complaining, but this is this is getting ridiculous at this point. Good, some new mo armor, that's really, really not gonna help. Alright, finally, just a second horn. Only two more gum hides to acquire. Hopefully, we can find it freaking soon. Although, I'd just like to mention that these, this crew so far has been entirely getting, you know, aside from the few deaths that they've had, uh, getting real close having so many cl close death calls that it's getting rather ridiculous. Oh my god, stop with this pattern of enemies, what a freaking god. Now for Nian. Alright, level 10 for most of the team. I'm just gonna actually put a point into HP up this time, right? It's nothing I've been being through for a while. Put more to physical defense. And put more in. Actually, yeah, let's put let's put one point for every. So from here, Dexo, standing in the same place as before, who stands on change. She gives you a faint nod as he turns to face you. How fair you! I hope you're not pushing yourself too hard," she says demurely. As he does, he smokes a few more of the shining droplets on you. One of them spring deep into force, she explains, and it heals your stamina. De Hector speaks through. You find your stamina regained after water cool water soaks into your skin. The force stores home to many wolves. Take care. The girl decides to turns her head away after delivering a warning to you. It stays regained. If you're ready to continue your adventure into the forest. I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab the next floor while we're here so we can get more quests ready. God, okay. Okay. Like I said, want to get at least a little more progress done, but, you know, we're here. The distant howling of wolves reaches your ears as you venture deeper into the forest. The wild cries echo through the trees, you suddenly recall Tlaska's words. She warns you that this is a dreadful place where fellow wolves dwell. You continue forth, the threat of, of approaching wolves uppermost, uppermost in your mind. Uh, let me just map that real quick. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of FOEs, and most of it is just the wolves themselves. This is quite position, uh. Um, let's just go in here. And we found a mining spot. We have to grab our, our gathering guild and head back here so as ASAP, okay. Well, this seems to be an awful predicament. Um. Could take quick and save exists in the HC port, so uh, let's go, YOLO! We're gonna find ourselves a wolf! Gonna boost up some stuff? <laughs> I think we're actually gonna overkill this wolf now that I think about it, if we're all boosting like this. One damage. 
See, yeah, she's this is almost dead. This wolf do be weak to fire, and it's dead. <laughs> well, hey, on the one hand, this actually counts as our third level week here, so it's not that bad. And I counts as our monster for today, so uh, we're gonna take this opportunity to head back and uh, turn in that quest <laughs> while we're here, and then uh, grab ourselves more away on these threads. Oh my god, I actually got a wedge to it, just. Monsters Codex is now over 10 monsters entered into it. Now we can turn that question. <laughs> and they gave us a red charm anyways. <laughs> Great. Welcome back, kids. Yikes, you gotta go all the way down to the third floor for this? <laughs> Fourth floor, actually, but you know, let's not discuss that. Well, thanks for your hard work. As you go further, the rest will practically fill itself in. <laughs> Most. But, uh, no quests! Seth's odd request. Jackson Westwan seeks adventure with talented in the use of FIRE to satisfy his request. Our quest welcome. We can do this real easily, it's not that difficult. This is a request from Jackson Westwan, but well it's a strange one. He's requesting a person, not a thing. He wants an alchemist who knows the file formula. What could he possibly need that for? Man, we come back with that alchemist, okay? Well what <laughs> Your is already here. Money. Ah, you learned fire formula. Congrats. I'll contact Mr. Jackson. I bet he'll have more work for you, too. But I still can't figure out what a Westwater Hill would need with the fire formula. Eh. And, uh... This is something I will grab for now. This is not something we can technically do quite yet, but, uh, we'll just grab this for now. A terminally ill boy of Vetria wishes to be the brave and excellent Lance Knight before he dies. Ward? The boy's treasure. Very ambiguous, but okay. That poor kid. He'll never be so he'll never be strong, so he wants to be the powerful adventurer. He's hoping to be the last neck above level 20. Do this for him, okay? Yeah, pretty steep requirement for like the stress version of this kind. Don't know why, but uh we just have to keep that in the back of our minds. <laughs> also, conveniently, he's all us 69 HP. Nice. But uh yeah, despite technically going to the force fall, uh I don't think I'm gonna progress any further into it for this episode. Because I want to essentially, I want to finish off these two quests, but uh, that next one we can certainly do easily in the next episode, so it's not too difficult, it's just, you know, it's the pain of getting all the way to it. In fact, honestly, now I'm thinking about it, we're going to tackle this way to loop. Why? I don't know. Just for, like, just for the elephant, I guess. Oh no. Uh. Okay. Uh. Confusion. Basically. It just allows the user in question that is afflicted with this status condition to attack all the party members. And it can't control the turn, so, uh. I'm afraid I don't have anything that will help us cure it with that. Unfortunately, so uh, we'll just have to endure ourselves a little bit. Even more so because they have bravery quest, which is uh, infinite. Okay, we seem safe for now. Yeah, in fact, we were pretty much fine for the get-go. We will, in fact, more than capable of defeating Gay Weed's rope at our level. So, once we're speaking of that, taking care of that like later on. But now we have a little more of the match to explore, so, uh, yeah, there's something. Oh, now you drop it regularly when I barely even need it anymore, okay. Uh, clear the door. Can't do anything about that yet, so uh, we'll just knock that down. This way? Nope.
I don't have I don't want in my sights. Okay. Uh, go ahead and solve this up. And even <laughs> even when we were not that close to it, it still saw us anyways. That's just fun. Go along this winding trail. Well, where to lead us, we will eventually find out. Pick yourself up. Ooh, Tristan. Attain the nectar! Takes this long to finally cry with, but uh, this is our revival of the game. That's gonna get the heck out of this battle. I said I'm gonna get the heck out of dodge. Thank you. But yeah, basically, this allows you to essentially heal a party member outside of battle. Yo, buddy, would you chill? I'm feeling bold. We can always sleep, but uh, I, I, I'm just feeling rather bold. Thank you, week two vote. Could be entirely wrong in that. Not that, okay. Um, ice maybe? Ow. Uh, you just tear yourself up because uh, you're faster. Fire? Yeah, five things to be good, I guess. Yeah, that was just like more damage to apply it with, but uh, you know, whatever. There we go. Whoo! That's another if we on the kill list. It's starting to get stronger. We're starting to get stronger. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go all the way back to the bottom of the floor and kill about guys and. Maybe eventually we'll just get up on time. Okay, well, that was an ambush like that. Well, I'm just gonna go down and heal. Because if we're capable of defeating the enemy, those Kuota and Kyoata enemies, I don't know what the pronunciation is. If we're able to kill the, the boy FOEs, we should be fine to go to the other path now. I uh, want to get that to a different party member. But can't do it here, so it's just going to be in storage, I guess. Okay, let's just go down this path and- Oh god, an FOE! Now it's the key Ki Kiyufa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not pronounced, Jason. Uh, it's a switch to- Switch to Pierce, actually. Okay. So, physical attacks to seem over better start to do. Understood. There we go. Oh, nice! We got the metal hole and drop too. Neat. We're, we're getting stuff. We're, we're getting stuff done. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and increase TP. Go ahead and up the guard chance on front guard. Put more points into Waverly. Put more into fire because uh, I want to get these 
these tier 2 skills as soon as possible. And uh, maybe hopefully get this for future enemies that might be weak to fort. Fight the healer, okay. Uh, unfortunately, we first that level, but uh, thankfully we can just go ahead and unlock that level right now. I could be able to put any points into it, but hey, yeah. Every now we get a buff coat. Which unfortunately is a lot weaker than the equipment that we have now, so that's just real unfortunate because that is setting material. Oh well. Anyways, next time when let's play Etrian Odyssey, we are going to go through more of the third floor. I really just stop if I want to do these outflows. Uh, we're going to be going through more of the third floor, just for now. See what we can find and explore more of this floor in particular, and uh, hopefully we can take care of the wolf problem in this dungeon. In this dungeon? Why is it like in this, in this dungeon? This stratum. This stratum. Bleh. I'll see you all then. Next time. See ya. I'm just gonna kill some more enemies. That's the outro. Go. Bye.